Hello and welcome. This is Accounting on Excel with Amaka Ife Bernando, the Excel coach. And in this training, I will show you how to design an Excel template that computes employee seniority bonus. So this is what we're going to be designing in this training. We have the employee code. That's for each of the employee. There is a unique employee code rather than using the name. For this training, we worked with the employee code. Then we have the start date of the employee. When did the employees started working in the organization. Then we have the salary level, and uh, this is data validation, a list, uh, drop down list, and we generated this from the salary scale, right? Then the basic salary, the basic salary is gotten from here. We use the VLOOKUP based on the salary level of the employee. This fills up automatically. Then we'll compute the seniority bonus, which I'll be showing you how to go about then the gross salary. So we have the salary scale here, which we'll be using here to fill in our details here. And we have the assumption for computing the seniority bonus. So the assumption one says employees that have worked for two years will be given 3% seniority bonus. Employee that have worked between three to five years will be given 5% seniority bonus on their basic salary. Then employee that have worked for more than five years will be given 7% seniority bonus based on their basic salary. So this is what I'll be showing you how to design. So as you can see, if you look at the start date true to the end date that is true to today, which is the day uh, this, this video is being recorded, you will notice that to give you the number of years this employee has worked. So we'll be using a formula to automate that process in the column A. So I'll show you how this works. So if you have to impute another tab, let me just copy this and paste it, and I will just edit it a bit. We have a salary here. So let's say we change this uh, employee 14. And let's say we change this uh, to March. This process started March 2021, right? and is at level six let's use level six so you see everything computes automatically so this is what i'll be showing you how to design in this training so let's go right into it good so you're welcome first we would like to impute our data validation on this level column that's the employee level and to do that you select the entire range then you go to your data tab and you come to data tools here we have the data validation selected so what do we want to do we want to use the list data validation so you select list and where is the source the source is this this is our source data here so we have the levels here so we we'll just select it and immediately it has selected the range and even locked it by putting the dollar sign that's the absolute cell reference we are okay we just click okay good so it means that when you select the cell the drop down list is there for you to select from right so that is how that was done so the next thing is to fill the basic salary based on the level the employee is so we already have the basic salary here so what we do is to work with the vlookup of course to vlookup we use the field lookup to pick the value. So we'll say based on this level, look at this range. Tell Excel, look at this range. And we're going to lock this range because we want to make the formula dynamic as we copy it downwards. I will tell employee to return the second column and to resort to the exact match. So you should look for this level two in this. And when you get it, you should return the value in the second column and the exact match. And there we go. Good. So for level two, you notice that level two is what 245,000. So we fill it downwards. Good. Now we have the NA, not applicable. So why are we having NA here? Okay, so let's look at our range here. Our range to K9. So it has to be to K10. So something is wrong. Okay, we didn't fill this down. So this has to be to K10. So I'll just fill it downwards. Good. We don't want this NA. So all we need to do is to wrap our formula with an if NA function. So if there is an NA 
that appears. We're telling Excel just leave the place empty. So we fill it downwards. Good. So fill it downwards. Good. So here we go. So this is it. So the next thing now I want us to pay close attention to, we already have our formula here. This formula automatically copies the basic and the seniority bonus. So what we need to compute now is the seniority bonus, right? So how do we go about it? Before we go about this, we need to understand the assumptions. The first assumption says for employees that have worked for two years, give the person 3% on their basic salary. That is the bonus. For employees that have worked for three to five years, they will have a 5% bonus on their basic salary. And for employees that have worked for more than five years, they will have 7% on their basic salary. So you need to, we need to understand the exemption of the basis of calculating the seniority bonus before we can know the formula we have to use to compute that. So looking at this, you see that the if function will serve us, the and function will also serve us. So let's go right into it. But before then, we need to calculate the number of years because how do we know two years? This person has spent two years. This person has spent three years. How do we know that? First of all, we'll calculate the number of years and I'll be using the dated if function to calculate it. So follow me closely as I'll be using different function to arrive at the seniority bonus. So let's start with the dated if equals to dated if. So mind you, I had a training. There's a training I have already recorded on the dated if. This dated if function is not provided in Excel, but it's a function that works. It helps you calculate the number of months, the number of days, or the number of years between two date range, right? So we want to calculate the number of years because we are looking at the years. The number of years this staff has worked from the start date up to today. So we'll say from this start date, right, then to today. So we'll use the today function. Then we want it to return the year. So we'll put Y. Y represents year. Good. And we close the bracket. So are we taking the formula one after the other? So it's telling us that this person has spent 10 years. So fill it downwards. I'll just stop where the database has stopped. So we have 10, 9. So the next thing now is to wrap this with an if function. So what do, are we going to do? Say if, if this year, because this is giving us a year, if this year is greater than, the first assumption is that it's equals to 2. So equals to 2. Right. If it is equals to 2, what should we do? So basic salary times 3%, right? So we'll lock the end, the end uh, 14, we'll lock it because we don't want it to change, we want to make it dynamic. So that is the first assumption which we are done with. Then the second assumption says, between, that have worked between, have worked for three to five years, that's uh, employees that have worked three years, four years, five years. Right, three years, four years, five years. So how do we capture those employees? So first of all, we use the AND function because we are testing two, two, two criteria, right? So what is the first logical criteria? We'll just copy the, this particular data if first. Please copy it because this is what computes the years. So we we'll copy it, we we'll input it here. So it should return Y so that I won't miss anything. So if this, this, this is greater than, if it is greater than or equal to three, that's the first criteria, right? The second criteria is if the dated if, we put the dated if, I didn't copy it very well, so I'll have to put the other one, the Y manually. If this dated if is less than, or equal to five because we are looking at a date range between three to five. So this is a logical function, right? So we close it. So now this is the logical logical function. The and these two criteria needs to be true. So first of all, the next thing is to wrap the and function in an if function. So just follow closely. I know the formula is getting a little bit longer, but just follow closely. You can watch it over again to get it 
to have an understanding of it. So we want to wrap an if function on this and function. So we say if this logical function is true, right? So times the basic salary to this particular percentage, 5%. It falls between 3 to 5 years. So we lock this, the N15. So the next test we're going to be doing, let me copy this very well. The dated if right from the beginning to the end. This is where the data the function ends. So just copy it. So the next is if if this data if function right is greater than because if it is greater than five, if it is greater than five, what should happen? Right. What should happen? So you say the basic salary times seven percent. And you're going to lock the several percent. Good. Then you close the bracket. Right. So we have to close the bracket. We have like three if function. Good. And that is it. So you see it has computed 17,150. So we'll fill the formula downwards. So these are the seniority bonus. And immediately you get the gross salary. So this is how you go about computing employee seniority bonus. Just to have a check on our formula. First of all, I'll copy the formula equals to, I'll copy the dated if. This is the dated if we imputed initially. So I'll just impute it. Yes, just for you to see. So you see we have 10 years, 9 to, so this 10, 9 to, so if it is 10, we say you should you should compute the seniority bonus by times in basic salary to 7% because it's more than five years. So it just equals to this times this, right? Good. So 17. So this is correct, right? So if we if we impute, let me let me lock this, make it F4 and lock it. Good. So if we fill this formula downwards. Uh, you know, this S is locked, so we have to be looking at it to change it. So this is nine years, good. It's two years, so this 42, it's uh, 14. And 14, that's 3%. So it says 7,350, so it's the same thing. So this and this needs to be, you can just use a formula. See, it's this one, <laughs> is this, is this equals to this. We just want to be sure. Great. So if it is true, then here we go. So we'll just be looking at the formula to see. So for those that are false, you'll notice this is four years. So it has to be, we have to select this one, N15. It says 5%. So this is uh, two years, this two years, so it has to be N14. So if you look at it, you'll notice that our formula is really, really correct. So it is just to test the formula, this five years. So it has to be N15. So this is four years. It has to be N5%. We are times in this three years. So it has to be 5%. So good. So you will notice that our formula is this is just a check. This is just a check to be sure that the seniority bonus is well captured, right? So you notice that it's well captured. So if you fill in this formula downwards, and you impute more employee, it computes automatically. As long as you understand the criteria, you have stated the criteria clearly, right? So I believe you've gotten value from this. I know the formula might look very long, but just watch it over and over again, and you will understand it. Ensure you walk along while watching so that you have a better understanding of it. So if you've gotten value from this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload value tips on this channel. Thank you for staying true to the end of this training. I'll see you in the next training. Bye for now.